Today I'm showing you how you can use Onyx Client. Anyways, to download it, you want to head over to their official Discord server, which will be linked down in the description, together with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, there is no way to download it other than to join their Discord server, so you'll have to go ahead and do that. Anyways, you need to head over to the appropriate channel and then click on the download button and the download should start automatically. So as you can see my downloads over here, I have the Onyx launcher and now I can just double click on that like so and here it is and this is just going to be the custom launcher here it has the current version of minecraft that we are going to be using um so it's just whatever version you have your minecraft updated to it's going to be different for everyone here you can check out some of the launcher info and here you can check out all the settings feel free to go through these if you wish to do so anyways we can just click on this big blue button that says launch client and once you click on that, it is actually automatically going to open up Minecraft as well. So um, we just got a little pop over here that said Onyx Client Injected. And as you can see, it you can tell it's injected by this little thing being right here, Onyx Client on top. So that's great. We can just head into any world and I'll show you guys how this works. So as you can see, we're in a random world over here, and now I can press on the insert button on my keyboard, and that's actually going to open up this. If you can't find the insert key on your keyboard, or just want to change it to something else, or don't have an insert key, then to actually open what I just opened, you can go into the chat and then type in dot open, just like that, and that is going to open this right here up. You want to click on this middle button and that's going to open everything that you want to see. So here we have the open client key which is currently bound to L. You can change this to anything you want, for example F. And as you can see if we get out of here and I can press F and then F again to open and close this. So on the right hand side over here we just have some general settings which we can use for user accessibility and just general customization. Then on the right hand side we have the real interesting stuff. So here we have all the mods as you can see and these are all going to be able to help you out in different ways. So most of these should be pretty self explanatory. Because for example zoom it's going to help you zoom. The FPS counter will display your frames per second. So you can select any of these as you can see over here and then you'll get an entire settings menu on the right hand side. So for the hitboxes for example, here we can at the top get a little description. So what this is going to do is draw a bounding box around all entities. Here you can choose a key to bind to this and what that will do is say I for example bind the key. K to it, then every time I press K, I will be able to see the hitboxes. And every time I press K again, then I won't be able to see it. And here we have some more general settings. Same thing for the clicks per second counter. So here we have a bunch of different options. Um, and whilst we're actually hovering over this settings menu, we're going to be able to see what it looks like. And then, as you can see over here, few hour changes in real time. If you don't want to make a specific keybind to them, or for some of them, as for example the CPS one, there's no keybind option available, you can click on this button over here and that is going to either enable or disable whatever one you have selected. And that's basically what this is. You can view all the specific descriptions right over here if you're unsure of what something is and most of these will come in pretty handy and I personally really like this client. If you're looking for something specific then you can type it in over here and as you see they're gonna get sorted by whichever one is most popular in this case zoom zoom is obviously they're pretty similar these two words so the zoom one is gonna come out on top. Now most of these things you see over here are modules so I'll get this CPS counter which I'll quickly enable for it as an example and I'll also uh, grab the Potion HUD, which as you can see shows all your current status effects and their duration, for example, blindness or maybe it's poison. And I'll enable that one as well. Now when I go out of here, as you can see, we have my CPS counter and my Potion HUD. And now in this module area over here, I can move these around, as you can see I can make it bigger, smaller, I can click on it to move it around. I've got snap lines on 
as you can see, so I can lock it to certain parts of my screen, in this case thirds or halves, or I can lock it right in the top corner over there. Maybe I want my CPS counter incredibly large and I want to put it over there. That is all perfectly fine. And then once you've done editing them in this screen, then as you can see, you can just go over here. And now as you see, I can check out my CPS right there, um, as well as if I actually had any status effects, being able to see them in the top left. Now obviously this is slightly unpractical and you probably don't want to do what I just did, um, but it, you know, just as an example. And now to turn these off again, you'll just have to go over here. As you can see, the ones that we are currently using are highlighted in blue, and then we can just disable them, like so. Now an extra way to actually open that menu if you maybe forgot what your keybind was, or can't go into chat to type dot .open, just like this, which by the way will work on servers and realms, um, then what you actually want to do is press on escape, right over there and then you can click on client settings here and that'll once again open all this up anyways that was basically it if you appreciate me showing you this then i'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye